Hi, this is Laura with Three Times Chuck by Laura. Today is another one of our series in the Ho 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 series that we're doing, home how to's for the holidays, getting your home ready for the holidays and doing some decorating. And today we have a couple different projects we're going to do. The first is we're going to do, we're going to talk about this tray here. Um, this is, um, if we're looking, the actual overall theme for today is, can you paint glass? Can you paint metal? Yes, you can. So... What we need for the tray are two picture frames. You kind of want them in graduated sizes. I put paper under the glass, so it's kind of holiday looking. You need some kind of glue to attach everything, something for a middle piece, and I'll show you what I used in just a second, and resunk junk paint. You need our paint because it dries quick, because it sticks to almost anything, and because it's fabulous. So this is what we started with. Did you introduce yourself like that? Oh, no, I did. I said, this is a lot of free Okay, do you see what I go through? He's over here whispering that I did not introduce myself. I said, this is Laura with Three Thumbs Junk by Laura. So, all right. Um, <laughs> so, we are, uh, we are starting with this. This is the big picture frame on the bottom. We painted it and just put wrapping paper under the glass. This is the picture frame that's on the top. Took that lovely little lady out and we put... Really? <laughs> and we put... Um, it was a lot fuller before starting. We put um, a piece of scrapbook paper under that. This... Right here is the piece I used in the middle between the two. Where? Can you see? Is that oh, better? That is so much okay. better. Yeah, so I didn't think the crystals were working with this, so I took the crystals off. I'll use them for another project that's very, very fabulous. This was gold um, metal, just a crazy little candlestick looking thing. Once we painted it, look how we painted it and it just dressed so pretty. That's under there. And then this was just a 99 cent little piece of wood that I got at. Um, Hobby Lobby, and we put that on top. I actually haven't even glued it on yet. You're just going to take the glue and glue it on once you paint it. So it goes on the top and just makes it look finished. So it's absolutely fabulous. I've got, um, think outside the box when you're thinking for things like this. Like these frames came from Walmart. They were four bucks each. They would paint up really pretty and make one of these. This is a crazy little pot I got at a thrift store. But I'm thinking, my frames might be a little small for this, but think about things like this. Don't think about it like a pot. This could be totally a great divider for doing another one of those things. It is metal and ceramic, and the paint will stick to it just fine. Um, it stuck well enough that we distressed and got some really, really pretty detail on the middle piece of that. So that's our first idea, and that would be a great serving tray for the holidays. Very different, very cute. Okay, next... We're talking about glass. Well, let's stay with metal. Love these jars. And just started with a metal lid. We're not doing anything to it other than painting it. It'll take two coats to really cover, but make sure you get my hands because they look fabulous today. <laughs> At least you know I've been working. So you're going to put, I did these for my bathroom. I actually put stuff in them that was sparkly right now, but I'll put like cotton balls and Q-tips and stuff like that in them when I get them home, and they'll go on the bathroom counter. I'll probably have to move some of Tom's stuff, but that's okay. Thank you, Tom. Um, maybe I won't move your stuff. Ooh. So there you have, all you do is put two coats of that on there, and then once I'm done, these are just going to get some major super glue and glue on the top because they're sparkly and awesome. So, metal. Let's move on to glass. It sticks to glass beautifully. These are just regular mason jars, just, you know, ball jars. Once you paint them, and this is really cool, this is going to be a toothbrush holder, because you can buy the little frog inserts. Normally you would buy them, put them in there, and put like fabulous flowers in them, but these are going to be a present for somebody. I'm not going to say who. Frog it's called a frog. Yes, it's called a frog. And you put that in there, and then we can put toothbrushes in there, which will be fabulous. So, painted this. Recently, I haven't even washed my hands yet, mm -hmm. and once you paint it, you're going to distress it, because then you can see all the little cool lines in the jar. We highlighted the name, we highlighted the little oval there, and I'm just going to use my electric sander. Okay, how fabulous is that? Um, totally sticks to the glass. You can do the cutest things. Um, I have some jars at home that are just like pickle jars and whatever jars. And This is the same principle as what we did with the lid. 
So here is our glass jar. All we're going to do is paint it. Um, sometimes I find with glass jars like this that if I've gotten two coats on here, it looks like it's okay, but then you can kind of see through it every now and then. Um, and so what I did with those is I just put a coat of paint on the inside too because um, I'm just going to put cotton balls and stuff in it so it doesn't matter. This is going to be so cute because it's got that same pattern that that one we just distressed does. So there's our first coat. This jar already has our first coat on it. It's dry. We're going to come in with a second coat. Once it's dry, we distress it like we just did that one. I jumped ahead to the distressing because I love distressing. Mm -hmm. um, and we use uh, an electric sander and <coughs> um, 80 grit sandpaper is what's on that right now. You can back off that if you're a little stressed, but 80 grit sandpaper is working and not a problem. So there is the painted glass. I'm probably going to get some other color paint on it. But cute, cute way to make some storage jars. And the last thing we're going to do, do you going to hand me that for, for black? Oh, so you didn't have to knock the... Oh, okay. Mom's handed me this, so I'm going to use it. Look. Oh, now they're not going to get dirty because we separated the colors of paint because my fabulous husband handed me a separate tray. Woohoo! Okay. Now that, yeah, you've made the whole video. Oh, I smeared on my iPad. Okay, so the second thing that we're doing today is a tray. This is how our tray started. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> Had a little kitty on it. And if you're a cat fan, I'm sorry, I did paint over the cat. Um... So, what we've got now is this. Here, actually, Tom, would you just take that? Okay. Slate on the outside, gray mist on the inside. It's just plastic, resin. I love everything that the paint will stick to. It amazes me. detail in here. Tom, here's a big wide brush over there. Can you hand it to me so I can dust this off? There is some really pretty detail in here that I'm missing. So, and I think I've got the pearl metallic over there, Tom. <gasps> can get any sand and dust on the cookies. Mm. That'd be upsetting. That would be upsetting for, yes, logic. Okay. So I'm going to take this. Oh, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Megan just got here, do you hear? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to just get a little brush and put some metallic on. And this is where I'm just experimenting. I might have to use silver to really make it show up. Ooh, no, that's pretty. Can you see it highlighted? Yeah. Okay, and then I can, if I want, go in later and touch up the sandstone. But I'm liking, since it's the holidays and all, a little bit of sparkle there. It's really subtle, but it does make a difference, and it highlights that. The other thing you could do, if you didn't want to use the metallics, is you could go in there with um, <coughs> dark glaze, and, or glaze, and you could glaze it. Do one side glaze. Oh, okay, I'll just do some glaze. Like. All right, hand me some glaze, please. There should be dark glaze over there somewhere. See, they said we can do the glaze, and they don't have any glaze over there now. Okay. Um, the other thing I'm going to do when I'm finished is, did you find glaze? No. Okay. I'm going to take gunk. I'm going to put this right in the middle, which I'm going to go ahead and do. Did, so, did somebody hand me gunk earlier? Do I have any gunk either? The gunk's right there with the brush in it, stuck in the middle. 
I love Thank you, you and your paints. Such a wonderful product, yeah. and you always amaze me with your videos. Keep them coming. Yay! That was great, and at a great time because we're all standing here trying to find gunk and looking like we're really disorganized. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm. That was lovely. Who said that? So I know who to love. Uh, Dee Dee. Oh, yay! Thank you so much. And I forgot to tell my husband, so I'm going to tell him right now in front of everyone that one of the last video we did someone made a comment that they loved how fast I went because it kept them listening Tom's always telling me to slow down nee, 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 nee. all right so we're gonna put that down I'm just gonna be centering it I'm gonna just center it on my side okay you could paint this on if you wanted to but this is so easy Ooh, and so pretty. Okay, the nice thing is you got a few minutes to play with it before it's totally stuck for life. And it's so fraggle, that's why I'm... Could you speak up a bit? Yes. Oh, did somebody say that? No. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, don't say that in front of my husband because he's always telling me to speak up a bit. So. Okay, I'll speak up a bit, but then I feel like I'm yelling. Okay, we're going to put a little bit over the top of it. And when it dries, you won't see any of that stuff in the background. Did anybody find me dark glaze so I can glaze one edge? Dad's got it. All right. Okay. And I should have a wet rag, but I don't. So we're just going to... No, by the time you get a wet rag, I'll be done. Okay, see, it highlights it real pretty. Nice thing about the glaze is... And we can come back in. I should have a wet rag. That would be a lot better. But... You can see how, see how it highlights it when I go back over there? So now I gotta decide which side I like the best and if I'm gonna glaze it all or leave it with, because I want it to stick to the top a little more than it is. There I got we go. You that oh, you're so good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, now we got it sticking to the top a little more. Just a couple coats and you can, it just, you can see it a whole lot better there than before we did anything. So, and if we kept going, it would also highlight this really pretty. So that's personal preference. I was going with a little metallic myself, but mm -hmm. there we go. And when you're distressing, the beauty of the paint is if I felt like this was not distressed enough, I can go back in. If I felt like it was distressed too much, I can just take the slate I don't even think I have in here, and just touch it up again so that, okay, so here's what we have now. It's, it's kind of dry, so it'll have some weird sheen to it right now, but that's what we have versus the kitty cat that we started with to begin with. And the last thing we're going to do to this is add handles, and I have one right here that we're going to add. This is really, really pretty, but I want it to blend just a little bit more, so what I'm going to do is accent the architecture with a little bit of paint. So, got this, just one a little bit. So I'm just going to put some on my thumb, and we're going to go like that. See how it just picks up, that's so pretty. See how it just picks up the architecture there? If I painted the whole thing, then I'd have to come back in and distress it. And See, isn't that pretty? Now, when we set this on, look how pretty, well here, I'll do it down here, so you can get it on the camera. See how pretty it blends now? And you can do that with, you know, obviously the hardware on dressers, on anything you're doing. It just really picks up, just a tiny bit on your thumb, just really picks up all the carved detail on the hardware piece. So, make a tray, serving tray, two tier. This was just a picture, this is gonna be a fabulous frame, but you can tell it's just supposed to be hanging on the wall. It even has the picture wire still on it, which I should take off before we use it. But make a tray, make some beautiful glass jars because the paint will stick to glass, it will stick to metal, it will stick to plastic, it will stick to resin. It's amazing what it'll stick to. So much fun to create and play. These would be beautiful gifts, um, beautiful accessories for your home before company comes. Really pretty to put some of these on a tray in a guest room and fill them with mints or with, you know, whatever you want to have for your guests. Little notes that say, please, will you leave and go home, depending on who they are, you know. So there are a lot of fun things you can do. Check out um, our website, www.rethunkjunkbylar.com for retailers. Find a retailer near you and um, please contact us if you're interested in carrying the paint because we would love to have more people selling the paint all over America. So thank you so much. Happy rethunking.